新しい剣豪はであります。My chair sounds like Darth Vader. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Um, it's been a while. So I have been really bad at editing and uploading recently, so I'm sorry about that. This one is going to be uploaded first, but I'll have some other videos that were filmed before this one that will be up soon, I, I think. This is a very impromptu casual video because I just want to update you guys on some things. So today is April 1st, 2019 here in Japan and today is a very important day because the name of the new era has been just announced. So in Japan they have um, the regular year 2019 but they also have the era name when one emperor dies and the new emperor takes over the era gets a new name or we get a new era i guess right now we are in heisei so the the era before heisei was showa i was born in showa which started on december 25th 1926 when emperor hirohito was emperor and it ended when he passed away on january 7th 1989 so so I was born just at the end of Showa, the Showa era. So Heisei started right after Showa ended. Heisei started on January 8th, 1989, and it's going to end on April 30th this year. So that is very interesting for one big reason, and that is usually the emperor stays the emperor until he dies, and then the era changes. But this time, the emperor said, hey, I'm getting old, I want to retire, let me retire. So he's going to retire on April 30th, and that will be the end of the era of Heisei. So um, this is kind of the first time in Japan that we've known... I say we like <laughs> I'm Japanese, I'm not. <laughs> okay, this is the first time that Japan knows that the era is ending. So um, they've come up with a name, they've been in talks for a while deciding on the name and there are some interesting rules about creating the new era name. The word has to comprise of two kanji characters. They must be easy to read and must not be in common use. It sets the tone of the new emperor's reign. It's finally been revealed! で <laughs> 言語を改める政令及び言語の呼び方に関する内閣告示が確認決定をされました。The new era will be Reiwa. I'll put the kanji down here. So the Rei, the first part, the first kanji is used in like Meire, like command. People are translating it as decree. And then Wa is used for peace. So like Showa was the same Wa. And now we're in Reiwa. Well, we will be. Some people like the name, some people don't like the name. Mm, I think it's fine. <laughs> Decreeing peace. Decree of peace, I guess. You can translate it. So the chief cabinet secretary, Suga Yoshihide, announced the new era name. Uh, so era name is called Gengo. So that's a good Japanese lesson for you. <laughs> so it's all... Um, I'm sure if you look at any of the Japanese news, it's all over there right now because this is a big deal. Suga said... We hope the new name will be widely accepted by the Japanese people and will carry meaning in their lives. And I guess it says here that TV commentators struggled to offer a direct translation, but the two characters taken from Man Yoshu, the oldest existing anthology of Japanese poetry, mean decree and peace. 
So it's kind of hard to directly translate it, but decree and peace. Eiwa. And it's interesting because it's unusual for Gengo or the era name to be taken from a Japanese work of literature. It's usually taken from a Chinese work of literature, which I think is interesting. Prime Minister Abe told reporters he believed the process would produce a new era name that would lead to a new era brimming with hope. So let's hope for that. This new era of Reiwa will start on May 1st and April 30th will be the last day of Heisei. So if you're wondering what the, the recent eras mean, Meiji was enlightened rule, Showa enlightened harmony, so Wa can be translated as peace or harmony, Heisei achieving peace, and now next is going to be Reiwa, um, decree of peace. <laughs> lots of peace, lots of harmony, lots of enlightenment. <laughs> I know some people don't really like that the Japanese like emperor decides the era <laughs> because on like official documents when you go to city hall you have to know basically the date in this era so whatever year it is you were born I was born in Showa I have to remember what year in Showa I was born but a quick google search if you're not sure will solve it. Uh, one funny thing about this is that in Australia, I guess in Perth, there is already like a real estate company named Reiwa, spelled the same way, R-E-I-W-A, and um, they, they thought it's funny, they totally support the new name, which is great, but it's kind of like a funny coincidence, I guess. So I think after today, they'll have some SEO trouble maybe, I don't know, everyone's searching Reiwa, but as in the Japanese new era, so sorry Australia. Um, in other news, uh, it's April Fool's Day. I don't have anything for that, so <laughs> sorry if you're expecting something funny. Um, but also what I wanted to say is that on April 1st, 2007, I arrived in Japan for the very first time, so it is my 12th year anniversary! Yay! <laughs> um, honestly, I didn't think I would be here this long, so every year I, I kind of feel... I say the same thing every year, I didn't think I would be here this long, but um, it's been a journey, it's been a wild ride, and it's not over yet, I'm still here. So, yeah, <laughs> 12 years. I feel like after five or six years, it's kind of all just the same, but um, I still like living in Japan. I like living in Tokyo. Um, I know a lot of people go home after a few years, but uh, I like kind of going back and forth. That's that's my, that's my long-term goal is to be able to go back and forth between America and Japan. I'm actually going back home in June. I'm going to go to my friend's wedding in North Carolina and then I'm going to fly to Wisconsin to see my family for about two weeks, so I'm very excited about that. Um, so that's my news. <laughs> Some other updates. On Saturday, I went to the YouTuber Hanami, so uh, I know some of you guys came up and said hello that are in Japan, so thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it and I had a lot of fun and yeah, I only stayed for a short time, but it was it was fun. Yogi is always very crowded though. <laughs> I feel like I'm a little bit too old to go to Yoyogi now. I like to be in quiet places, but it's fun. It's fun sometimes. And oh yeah, I got my nails done. Uh, can you see them? Mm, there, um, I wanted like a sakura type of motif but I didn't want to like actually put flowers on my fingers, so um, just the color scheme is a very springy and sakura-like. So a lot of you guys have asked me on Instagram where I get my nails done, and it's a place called Nail Salon Diva in Omotisando, and if you go there, tell them that I sent you. Um, you can show them my Instagram or whatever, and 
uh, I think they will be able to give you a discount. So go there. Let them know I sent you. Yeah. And I think that's all I have for updates and news. I'll be editing and uploading the videos that I have pre-filmed for you guys. So thank you for waiting. I'm so sorry. And yeah, I'm still trying to figure out like what a good background is because I have like my dining room area, which is where I have been filming, but it's like just a brown wall and I have my living room with like the green sofa, um, I have here, I have my bedroom, I don't know, I'm trying to figure it out. There's just, uh, everything just looks not the best on camera, so I don't know. Let me know if you have any suggestions. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great April 1st. Happy anniversary to me. I'm very excited for the Dewa era and um, happy April Fools. Oh. Give me some April Fool's things, jokes, pranks. Um, I want to get my boyfriend one day. Mm. I, ha I, I, do, I do prank my boyfriend um, a lot. Well, not a lot, like sometimes, but it's never on April Fool's, so I've got to think of something good. He's always suspicious. Okay, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.